Hey guys, how's it going? Ricky Widmer here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to give you my must sits in fantasy football for week number nine. If you're new to these videos, new to the Most Valuable Podcast, these are the guys this week that you don't want to start. Stay away from them. If you do, you're going to have a bad time and probably lose your league this week. But let's get right into it. Number five, I've got Latavius Murray. Yeah, he had a good week last week against the Jets. Surprisingly, I know, because the Jet defense is usually pretty good. However, this time, he's going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And looking at what the Steelers were able to do to both Jeremy Hill and Giovanni Bernard last week, staying away from Murray in this one. I feel like the Steelers are going to limit him. He's not going to have as big as a game as he had last week. I'd stay away from him this week. Just treat him like he's got a buy. You can find another running back out there for you. For you. You could probably find one out there, probably. But at number four, the quarterback. And I'm going to treat this. I know there's a lot of quarterbacks on buy. If you want to find one to pick up to replace this guy and one more that I have on this list, check out my pickups video. But Teddy Bridgewater going up against the Rams. I know Bridgewater had a good game against the Bears. But the Rams are a different beast. The Rams actually know how to play defense and are actually a team in a tough division. The Vikings, you know, you guys know I bleed. I bleed purple and gold. However, I'd stay away from Bridgewater in this one unless he can get some lucky drives down the field to Stefan Diggs. I don't see Bridgewater being much of a factor fantasy in this game. Like I said, I'd treat it like a buy. Go check out my pickups video for a quarterback you can pick up this week. Then at number three, kind of a two-headed one-two punch with number one on this list. But I'd stay away from T.Y. Hilton. And I am in the, I'm I'm between a rock and a hard place. Because I have T.Y. Hilton in one of my leagues. Going up against Denver, looking at what Denver did to the Packer offense. There's no way this cold offense gets going against this dominant, yeah, I'm going to say dominant, Denver D this year. Like I said, I'm between a rock and a hard place because I'll let you guys in. I did something stupid and I joined a league that I shouldn't have where we have to start four wide receivers. T.Y. Hilton's my number number one wide receiver. I want to sit him, but I just don't have anyone behind him. So I I have to painfully start him this week. But I'm saying don't start him. T.Y. Hilton not going to have a good game this week, especially when he had one catch on Monday night against the Panthers. Number two, stay away from Jason Witten this week. The Cowboys are pretty much a dumpster fire at this point, losing all of their games since Tony Romo hit the schneid on the injury. Stay away from Witten. The Eagles are not a team that gives up a lot of points to the tight ends. And then number one, Andrew Luck. Aaron Rodgers had a sub-double-digit performance in fantasy last week. His lowest. I believe he only had 77 passing yards in the game. Andrew Luck ain't going to be able to do anything against Denver. I'd sit Andrew Luck, find another quarterback this week. Andrew Luck has already struggled this week, and now going up against Denver. He's not going to have a good time, folks. He's not going to be able to do anything against that Denver D. But that's going to do it for my must-sits this week. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Is there anyone that I left out? Of course, I can only get to five of these guys each and every week. Who's a must-sit for you that I left off the list? Let me know down below. Also, you can hit me up with any of your fantasy questions down below or right up there on Twitter. I love answering your fantasy questions each and every week to help you guys win your league to the best that I can. I want to thank you guys for checking out this video. Go ahead, hit that like button, that sub button, and as always, have a good day, everybody.